Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Batty Jack, and this is a Shotgun Farmers. It's a game that's currently in early access. It's available for $10, I think, and it's a first-person shooter where you run around with weirdly vegetable-based guns and you shoot people. It's interesting, to say the least. I was very surprised by this one. I had a lot more fun with it than I immediately thought I would. When I see games like this, to be entirely honest, a lot of the time... I kind of assumed they're going to be asset flips or something, so I did some digging into it, of course, and to my surprise, this game seems to be completely made completely legit, and that's really nice to see. So it was developed by two guys that were doing the whole thing on Twitch, like they're developing the game via live stream, basically. They're live streaming the entire development process, and that's a cool little tactic that I've seen done before. My good friend Daniel Sound, who developed What the Box and Space Cats with Lasers, he does a lot of that stuff. You can go over to his uh, Twitch channel and see that one, as well as this, and probably a variety of other indie developers as well. They probably just live stream them making games and stuff. That's a really cool idea. It offers a lot of community involvement, obviously shows you what the developer is doing. You can see if they're totally legit. So that's, that's a really good idea. I like that. As far as good ideas go... This game itself, it's kind of a neat little funny idea. Like, it's very simple at this stage. There's only, like, three different weapons you can utilize. One would assume they're going to add more in. But they use a lot of really cool punny weapons. There's a care rocket launcher. You can see it. That guy has it right there. You, you pick up weapons in this game by finding growing vegetables on the ground. And you either get more ammo for the one you currently have. Or you get a whole new one. So there's that one. There's the there's the snipe asparagus rifle. It's a sniper rifle that's made of asparagus. So that's funny. <laughs> it's kind of like Quake. I I didn't think I'd ever compare this game to Quake, but it kind of follows the same sort of like rule set. Like you pick up the gun on the ground, or you get ammo for it when you run over it. The difference being that these guns are all vegetables. <laughs> They're all farm crops, and it's not its not as tactical as Quake. It's a lot more casual, of course, but at the same time, it's so casual and so silly that I really enjoyed it. Like, I, you're never going to play this game competitively. You're just going to play it to have some fun running around doing stupid things, and this game allows you to do that in spades. I mean, it's a little limited right now. Hopefully, as they go through early access, they're going to iron a lot of that stuff out. But since they're developing the entire thing via live stream, like I said, it's like if they want to add in a bunch of different ideas and funny stuff that the community wants, you know, you, you can make a really good game that's super silly and has something that the player base that's going to be playing this game really wants to have in there. So, of course, it's a great idea. They're putting in like different hats and stuff. You can customize your characters and all in all, it's, it's a good, fun, little kind of relaxed time more than anything. You know, like I said, you're, you're never going to see a competitive scene for this, and I do worry... I worry that every time these games come out, like, what's going to be the player base for it? Is it going to have a consistent one? And even now, it, I mean, granted, it's in early access right now, not not fully released, but there was only one active server for it, so I, I don't know if it's worth picking up right at this moment. They do have a Discord server, of course, so you can go and get a group together. And then play if you want to, if you do end up picking it up. I'm going to say, obviously, because it's in early access, you probably don't want to get it right now. That's my stance on most early access games. Granted, this one's fully working. It's like, the game runs fine. And there's some basic game modes and stuff that are fleshed out enough. They just kind of need to add more stuff into the game. But as it stands, it's like, if you bought it, you wouldn't not be able to play it unless there was no one else playing it. So... Yeah, that's good to see. It's not like you have missing gun models or anything. Every, everything's there. That's always a nice thing to have with games like this. So yeah, Shotgun Farmer. It's, it's a neat idea. It's a cute little idea. It's got some nice little gags going on with it. It's very casual, but it's still got a little bit of strategy to it. Like your general first-person arena shooter strategies are all going on and stuff. And I can see this one being a nice little cult indie game that people really enjoy. And it's good to see 
some fairly original ideas come out of indie, indie developers, and obviously it's good to see ones that are being made totally from scratch and by people who obviously have a little, like an ounce of talent, you know? Anyway, so those are my thoughts right now on Shotgun Farmers. If you want to continue the discussion, a couple different ways you can do that. You can either leave your comments in the comment section below, you can talk to me on Twitter or on my Discord server. I've also started up a new Steam group. You can find the link to that in the description. There's a curator page over there too, because curation systems are going to be overhauled by Valve pretty soon. So that's kind of something I want to be a part of. I am Patty Jack, and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.